I am really happy to see the homegrown riding gear brand sprouting in India. As 10 years back, I couldn't imagine getting spoiled by choices in premium riding gloves. A lot of you guys have already suggested your picks on my Instagram post and looks like the Viterra Grade 3, the Rhinox Strong Vivo 3 and the Scala Trekker have made it to the shortlist. And before we even begin, you can go through the technicals and features of these gloves and I bet you will rank all three of them in the top category. Where you will notice that none of the brands have compromised in terms of quality and safety compliance. So when you have choices like this, purchase becomes easier as you cannot really go wrong with any of them. So for this time, I went ahead with the Rhinox Strom Evo 3. After more than two weeks of use, I can share my initial impressions in this video along with some comparison with its competition. To begin with, you must know that I was earlier using the Viterra Grid 2 for the past two years or so and you will find its video on the channel. Now coming to the Strom Evo 3, I personally found it to be more comfortable when compared to my previous Viterra Grid 2. Now this can be subjective to palm, fingers and knuckle dimensions that can vary from person to person. Rhinox specially mentions about the use of full grain leather, while Scala mentions about the use of kangaroo genuine leather on the trekker, while Viterra has gone with goat skin for their grid. I remember saying this in the Viterra Grid 2 video that I found the Strom Evo 2 more supple and my observation remains the same with the Strom Evo 3. Adding to it, I am happy to see a lot of changes in the Strom Evo 3 as a successor to the Evo 2. The first look at the Evo 3 and I could see the external stitchings on the fingers and essential zones which add on to the comfort points. The Rhinox Strom Evo 3 finally gets the pinky finger bridge which was missing on the Evo 2. This bridge is adapted by all the three shortlisted gloves, just like the wrist slider and the scaffold protection from Nox is offered by all of them. The Scala Trekker has got Sastec level 2 protector on the knuckles, which is kind of highlight for the Scala Trekker, as Rhinox offers C certified impact on knuckle protector in comparison to the TPU protector on the Viterra. I guess Viterra can up their game in this department, as I really liked their new design, which makes them stand out from the rest of the two. In fact, Viterra offers stuff like visor wiper on the left index finger and touch controls on the both thumb and index finger in comparison to the only index finger compatibility on the Storm Evo 3 and the Scala Trekker. We did speak a lot about the protection offered by these gloves, where it can be due to the impact on the knuckle, a slide on the scaphoid bone or abrasion protection from scraping on the tarmac. Rhinox here has done a good job by C certifying the complete Strom Evo 3 and this is important to showcase the gloves resistance to stuff like impact, abrasion, cut, tear and even seam strength. Now if you are looking for protection against rain and winter, then unfortunately none of these three gloves are made for that. This ultimately brings me to the ventilation part where all the three gloves offer ventilation pores on the leather and in addition to it, you will get vents on the grid and the Strom Evo 3. I must say these vents are pretty effective in keeping your fingers freezed during the winter rides. Jokes aside, I do feel vents are needed for Indian riding conditions where we face low speed traffic and high temperatures where additional airflow is always appreciated. The floating knuckle design also helps here along with easing your movement during the clutch and brake operations. For me, the comfort surely stands out on the Evo 3 where these gloves did not require any braking in and the leather is taking its shape well. Getting in and out of these gloves do not call for any additional effort and I have experienced the same easiness with the Scala Trekker which I found to be the longest gauntlet gloves amongst the three. These are my first gloves from Rhinox and it is too early to comment on their durability. However, I can say that about the Viterra Grade 2 which is still riding strong even after 10,000 km of riding without breaking a stitch or showing a crack on the leather. Let me know in the comments if you are interested in these riding gear reviews and want me to make long term videos on them. So that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it.